My name is Frank William Abagnale. From 1964 to 1967, I successfully impersonated an airline pilot for Pan Am Airways, and I flew over two million miles for free. During that time, I was also the chief resident pediatrician at a Georgia hospital. <laughs> very good, Dr. Ashton, very good. And an assistant attorney general for the state of Louisiana. By the time I was caught, I was considered the youngest and most daring con man in U.S. history. I had cashed almost $4 million in fraudulent checks in 26 foreign countries and all 50 states. And I did it all before my 19th birthday. Quiet down, people. My name is Mr. Abignale. That's Abignale. Not Abignali, not Abignali, but Abignale. Now, somebody please tell me where you left off in your textbooks. Excuse me, people, if I need to ask again, I'm gonna write up the entire class. Take your seats! Chapter seven. Will you please open your textbooks to uh, chapter eight, and we'll get started? Excuse me, what's your name? Brad. Brad, why don't you get up here, in front of the class here, and read conversation number five. Liz Francais son uh, generalement. Donsler pays Q, press Q, to Le Monde, a uh, set impression. They sent for me. They said they needed a sub for Roberta. I came all the way from, from Dixon. I always sub for Roberto. Excuse me, why aren't you reading? Put it down. Drop it! Relax. You're late, all right? My name's Alan, Barry Allen, United States Secret Service. Your boy just tried to jump out the window. My partner has him in custody. I don't know what you're talking about. You think the FBI are the only ones on this guy? I mean, come on. Come on, he's dabbling in government checks here. I've been following a paper trail on this guy for months now. Hey, you, you mind taking that gun out of my face? Please, really. I mean, it makes me nervous. We see some credentials. Yeah, sure. Take my whole wallet. <clears throat> you want my gun, too? Come over here, take my gun. Hey, hey, look, just do me a favor. Take a look outside. Look, look out the window. My partner's walking him to the car as we speak. Look. Old guy almost pissed in his pants when I came through the door. He jumped right through the window onto the hood of my car. Hey, Murph. Yeah, call the LAPD again. I don't want people walking through my crime scene. <laughs> I, I didn't expect the Secret Service on this. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, what's your name? Henry. Carl Henry. Mind if I see some identification? Sure. You, know, you never can be too careful these days. Well, tough luck, Carl. Five minutes earlier, you would have landed yourself a pretty good collar. It's all right. Ten seconds later, and you'd have been shot. Mind if I come downstairs with you? I, I got to take a look at this guy. Sure thing. Just uh, do me a favor and sit tight for a second while I get this evidence downstairs. You know, I don't want some maid walking through here and making the bed. LAPD should be here any sec. Wait. Your wallet. You hang on to it for a minute. I trust you. Sure, this is the suit, right? Positive. It's the exact suit he wore in the movie. Okay, I'll take three. Certainly, Mr. Fleming.
chasing me. I can't stop. It's my job. It's okay, girl. I just thought I'd ask, you know? <laughs> hey. Merry Christmas, huh? I love my... That was really good, Carl. Understood? Where are you taking him? I, I'm supposed to go. Where are you taking him? Let me in the car. Let me in the car. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man band, and he'll toot his flute for you. Come fly with me, let's take off in the blue. Once I get you up there. Starry eyed once I get you up there. I'll Is that a blonde out front? Should have been a pilot. Exactly. Mr. Carl, 